Hey guys, Eid Mubarak, and if it's not Eid yet, um, prom Mubarak, wedding Mubarak, all that jazz. So I'm doing a collaboration with these three beauties, and I'm sure you know who they are. Aisha, we got Shahad here in the ring, we got Habiba here, you know, it's a tag team knockout. No, I don't know. Uh, so if you'd like to see how I did this really pretty bright yellow but still kind of subtle um, Eid makeup look or prom makeup look, then stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start off with is priming my eyelids. And I'm going to be using Soft Ochre by MAC. And this is a probably my favorite um, eyeshadow primer. Next, oh sorry, I put on some lip balm as well just to keep my lips hydrated. And I'm going to go in with this Morphe palette. Now this is the 35B Morphe palette and it kind of has all the bright colors you need in your life. <laughs> Tassels! I'm going to take the top white color and just coat my entire lid in brow bone with this matte white eyeshadow color. It's just going to be used as a base. Um, next I'm going to go in with this coral color and I'm just going to sweep this in my crease area using soft fluffy circular motions nice next I'm gonna go in with this matte red color and I'm just gonna go right into my crease and under my brow bone with a smaller pencil brush and just kind of curve out carve out my crease with this color and just blend it into the coral And there's a plane flying over my window and it's like super loud and I don't even really live near the airport. I don't know why I always get loud planes while I'm filming. They're trying to ruin my life. Next, I'm going in with this Morphe 350 palette and I'm taking this brown color and mixing it and just applying this right on top of the red with the same sharp um, brush that I used. It's the Morphe brush. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and just merge the colors together. Now the tools that you use are very important because they place the eyeshadow where you want them to be placed in a diffused way or in a more concentrated way. Um, and then go in with another just fluffy blending brush and this is by Hukumoto. I think I said that wrong. Next I'm going to go in with a bottom black color and take uh, pencil brush and, this, and then just smudge this into my crease, carving out my crease. It's okay if it's a little messy, we're going to clean it up, but you want it to be concentrated right down your crease area and just kind of go back and forth. Now, I'm going to go back in with a soft ochre paint pot and a concealer brush and carve out my lid. Now, I see a lot of people on YouTube carving, over carving out their lid to give the illusion of like a bigger lid space. I personally don't like that. I like carving out exactly the size of my lid because that's the size of my lid uh, but you know it does look good on some people but I'm gonna keep it small because my actual eyelid is small yeah so I'm just carving that out and I want to start off with the base first go in and then kind of slowly work my way up bringing the primer up trying to carve out a perfect 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 moon half moon shape Bro, that's hard. Okay, next I'm going to go in with um, the matte yellow eyeshadow in the same 3.5B palette and just take a flat eyeshadow brush and push this only into the primer that we applied. Now you want to go in a few times to make sure it's pigmented. Next I'm going to go in with some champagne color in the same palette and just apply that on my inner corner water tear duct area. And we're kind of pretty much done. I Then I went in with a eyeliner. Now I'm using the Sephora Liquid Eyeliner in High Precision Black. And just doing a winged eyeliner. And if you'd like to see how I do my winged eyeliners, I will also link the link for that down in the description box. And then I just filled in my brows. I have a brow tutorial as well that I will put down in the description box just to save some time. Next, I'm going to go in with my Milk Blur Stick Primer and use this as a 
foundation primer. Now I have a full detailed video on my foundation routine that I just uploaded a week ago so I will link that in the description box to save some time but I'm just going to quickly do my base and my foundation. I'm going in with a corrector. This is the LA Girl Pro Corrector in orange and correcting my dark circles and a little bit of my hyperpigmentation. And for this tutorial, I'm going to be using NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Syracuse. But if you'd like a proper detailed video on my foundation steps, check it out. I will link it down in the description box. Going in with some concealer and just pushing that under my eyes. Next, I'm going to just highlight my under eye area with a lighter concealer. Um, and it's the same products I've used in my foundation routine. That's why I'm not like going through it. And... Okay, back to the eyes. I'm gonna go in with this orange color and I'm going to sweep this under the wing and down my bottom lash line to smoke it out a little. Next, I'm going in with my current favorite uh, mascara, and this is the Lancome Mascara in Hypnos. Love this mascara so much. Probably the mas best mascara I've ever tried. Um, just as good, if not better, than the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. Shh! These planes are so loud. Next, I'm going to go in with some blusher, and this is the new Lancome Blush. And it is the Subtle cream blush in the number 06 which is like a nice pinky tone and then I'm gonna go in with a rose gold color and highlight and this is by Too Faced Um, and then I'm gonna go in with these Fatiha lashes. Now these lashes don't have a name for them, but I'm going to uh, hit up Fatiha and be like, what are the style name for this lash? Because I love it. I when I put it on, I was in love with it, and I, there's no style number on there, so I'm gonna have to ask her what which one it is. Um, now for the lips, I'm going to go in with Boldly Bare, which is this very pretty flushed nude. Um, lip liner and then I'm gonna go in on top with the um, Persistence lipstick by Mac, which is a also nude but like a brownie nude color and That's it. I'm just gonna coat my lashes again with some liner just to cover the lash glue But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys Don't forget to like share subscribe and thumbs up this video if you'd like to see more I'm so glad I did this look because I've been wanting to do yellow for so ho, ho, ho long I'm also wearing Habibi De Silva's scarf in the black one. I forget the name. I'm really bad at this voiceover today. But anyways, I'm just so hungry. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You guys, see you next week. Bye!